Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to add India Mart leads to Google Sheets automatically. So I am a business owner and to promote my business and to generate leads for my business, I am using India Mart. Now my objective is that whenever I am going to receive a new lead from India Mart, then I want to add the details of that same lead in my Google Sheets that too automatically. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between India Mart and Google Sheets and because they do not have any kind of native integration, therefore I am going to use Pabli Connect to connect both of them. And in order to do that, I am not going to use any kind of coding and programming skills. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add India Mart leads or inquiry details in Google Sheets. So I am a business owner and I am using India Mart to promote my business and to generate new leads. Now my objective is that as soon as I am going to receive a new lead from India Mart, then I want to add the details of that lead along with the inquiry for which he has signed up towards my Google Sheet so that I can create a record. So I have already prepared a spreadsheet which contains following fields such as name, email, address, phone number and the inquiry of the lead. So as soon as the lead will be generated through India Mart, the details of that lead will be recorded over here in this spreadsheet. Now in order to do that, first of all we have to set up the connection between our India Mart account and Google Sheets. So how we are going to do that because they are not natively connected anyways. So here we are going to use Pabli Connect for that. As you know, Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software with the help of which we can set up the connection between multiple work applications to automate all our repetitive tasks and that too without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. So quickly we'll get started. Here currently we are on the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. Once you will reach here, you will find two options sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, you can just click on sign in option to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also when you will do that, you will be receiving 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now because I am already an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in option to log into my account and here we are on all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. So to create our automation we are going to use Pabli connect. Let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli connect as you can see. On this dashboard you will be able to find all your workflows which you have created and you can also create different folders over here to save your workflow separately and accordingly. To create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option which is given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on this button and here you can see a dialog box has appeared in front of us. So it actually it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name to my workflow over here. Add India Mart leads to Google Sheets automatically. So after giving the name to my workflow, here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So you can see I have a list of folders over here. Among these folders, I want to select this automations for India Mart leads as my folder because I want to add all the workflows which I'm going to create related to India Mart inside this folder. So I've selected that. So I will simply click on create and my workflow will get saved in the folder which I've selected. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us, which contains two extremely important and windows trigger and action now what are trigger and actions trigger and actions are the two main concepts the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which the automation runs the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this that means action is a response towards our trigger so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command that to automatically so therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now here in this scenario let's suppose my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead from India Mart then I want to add that lead in my Google Sheets to create a record with all the details. So for that here I have to take India Mart in my trigger and Google Sheets in action. So when we are going to set up the connection between these applications we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the lead is generated through India Mart account then only the details of that lead will be recorded in Google Sheets otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger and action let us quickly start creating our automation. So here we will move towards our trigger step to start our workflow and our trigger application over here will be India Mart. So let's select that. 
So as you know, India Mart is one of the India's largest B2B marketplaces, connecting buyers with suppliers across a wide range of industries. So India Mart facilitates business transactions by providing a platform where manufacturers, wholesalers, exporters and retailers can showcase their products and services to potential buyers. And buyers over here can ask the queries related to the product in the services which they are interested in. And this platform is widely used by small and medium-sized enterprises as well as large corporations to find new business opportunities, negotiate deals and expand their market reach. So by creating this automation of adding your India Mart leads to Google Sheets, you can streamline the lead management and improve operational efficiency of your business. This automation ensures that all new leads from India Mart are instantly added to a centralized Google Sheet, eliminating the need for manual data entry every time. So it is really effective and also efficient. Okay. Now, as we have selected the trigger application as India Mart, the next thing we have to select is the trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. So we will simply select new leads as our trigger event. Now, as we have done that, here we have received a webbook URL and also we have received some instructions. We just have to follow the instructions given over here in order to set up the connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect. And the URL which is received to us is going to act as a bridge because it is going to transfer the data of new leads from India Mart towards Pabli connect and that too instantly so now we can set up the connection between india mart and Pabli connect with the help of webbook url that too directly okay so let's simply copy the webbook url and then i'm going to tell you exactly what you are supposed to do so i will take you towards my india mart account and after coming on the account we have to go towards the lead manager section given over here okay now from here we have the three dots we will select that and over here we have the option of import or export leads okay so here when we have selected this option we can find another three options so we have to select push api among them now over here you can see that we have to select the source so we have multiple source options over here you have to select the source according to your choice but here i'm going to go with other okay as we have done that you can see it is asking webbook listener that means first of all you have to provide a crm platform name with which you want to connect your india mart account so here because i want to connect pabli connect with my india mart account so i'm, so I'm going to select pabli connect over here okay and then you have to provide the webbook url so we'll simply paste the url which we have copied from pabli connect and we'll click on save details as we have done that it is asking us that please select one of the options that for which reason you are creating this connection so it has following options i can easily assign leads to my sales team and manage their performance i feel that i can permanently save the leads from india mart and view later the user interface is easy to use and helps me manage leads effectively and other so here i'm going to go with i feel that i can permanently save the leads from india mart and view later you can select any of the options and we have to click on the button click to generate otp now it has sent a verification otp on the number which you have registered with india mart account and you have to enter that otp over here so let me quickly enter that after entering the OTP, we'll click on submit. And as we have done that, you can see the webbook URL is added over here. That means our webbook is activated. And now we have set up the connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect successfully. So you can see it is saying waiting for webbook response. This means that now whenever a lead will be generated in India Mart account, the response will be captured. In order to capture the response over here, currently we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that? Simply by creating a new lead with India Mart. And, and as soon as we will do that, the response will be captured. So for that, I'm going to open India Mart account in incognito mode. And you can see that I have opened India Mart account in incognito mode and, and I've also searched my business over here. So now as a user, as a lead, I'm going to submit the requirements which I want with the business. So here I'm going to enter some details, name, let's say the name of the lead who is submitting this response is smart lead. And here I'm going to enter a description. I want to know about the free plan of Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on submit requirements. And over here we have to enter some other details. So here let's suppose the email of the lead is smart lead 45 at the rate publicutes.com and here i'm going to enter the city let's say bhopal madhya pradesh okay i will submit it and it has sent the otp on this number which i have entered as a lead i've entered that otp and i will simply click on submit and i'm going to enter some other details with which it is asking let's suppose i've given the company name as abc company and i'm going to click on submit now i will simply click on cross and now i'm going to send the inquiry over here as a lead okay so i'm going to click on contact supplier and I will enter the details over here. Let's suppose this is my query. I want to know about free plan of Public Connect. I will click on submit and it is asking us to provide the name. So here I'm going to give the name, let's say as smart user and I will submit it. Okay. So the response is received. Now I'm going to cross this. We'll move back towards Public Connect to check whether we have received the response or no. 
And over here you can see that yes, the response is received. Here in our response, you can see we have received the status that is success, the query ID of the lead. Here we have a default subject which we have received. Okay, then we have the state of the lead, the name smart lead. Here we have the phone number. Then we have the email address smart lead 45 at the rate babitudes.com. Then here we have received the name of the company of this particular lead. Okay, and here we have received all the details as well. The date and time at which the lead is generated. Here we have received the actual query which he has asked. I want to know about free plan of Fabdi Connect. If you remember, we have entered the same query while submitting the lead response. Okay. This means that our connection between India Mart and Pavli Connect is absolutely successful. So now whenever a lead will be generated in India Mart, the response of that lead with all the details will be quickly captured inside Pavli Connect. Okay, now I'm going to take you towards India Mart and inside lead manager here you can see that we have received the lead with the company ABC company and, and here is the response. Okay, this means that our connection is also working perfectly fine. So once we have set up the connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect, now our objective is to transfer the lead response which we have received through India Mart towards Google Sheets to create a record. So we have to set up the connection between this Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So for that, we will go towards our action step and we have to select our action application over here. And our action application will be Google Sheets, of course. So let's select that. Then we have to select the action event. So our action event will be add new row because I want to add a new row every time in my Google Sheets whenever the lead will be generated through India Mart. So here we will select our action event and we'll click on connect to build the connection. To build this connection, we have two options over here, add new connection or select existing connection. So here I'm going to go with add new connection option. Then we'll click on sign in with Google. And here we have to select our account. As we run that, we have to scroll down and we have to click on allow to provide access to Pabli Connect of our Google account. And it is 100% safe. So without any fear, you can simply click on allow. As we have done that, here our authorization has become successful and the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. And as we have done that, after building the connection, first of all, it is asking us to select the spreadsheet name. So you have to select the specific spreadsheet in which you want to create a record. The name of my spreadsheet is New India Mart Inquiries. So I will select the same from the drop down. So here we have New India Mart Inquiry as our spreadsheet name. As we have selected that, now we have to enter the details in these fields to create a record. So here you can see that the sheet name is also selected because I only have one sheet over here with a name as sheet 1. Then here we have name, email address, phone number and the inquiry of the lead. All these fields are the same as we have the columns in our Google Sheet. So when we will enter the details in these fields, the record will be created. But because our objective is to create an automation so that the automatically the record could be created every time the lead is generated. In that case, we are not going to enter the details manually over here in these fields. As we know, we have already received the response of our India Mart leads in our earlier response in which as you know, in which we have received all the details related to the lead, the name, email address, the phone number of the lead, as well as the inquiry. Here, this is our previous responses given. We will select that. When we insert a data like this from previous step, it is called as mapping. So we will map the data. So here, first of all, we want the name. So here I'm going to search for the name of the lead. The name is given over here as smart lead. I will select and it is mapped. When we have mapped this name, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, it is going to replace automatically. So now, whenever a lead will be generated through India Mart, the response will be captured inside Pabli Connect. And, and with that new response, automatically the name over here in the field is going to replace with the new name of that new lead. In this way, we are going to automate the entire process of adding our India Mart lead details in Google Sheets without any manual efforts. So in a similar manner, we are going to map the email as well. So I'm going to search for email. Then I will map the phone number over here. All right. And, the, and finally, the inquiry which we have received. So here we have the inquiry. I want to know about free plan of Pabli Connect. As we have done that, all the details are mapped successfully. So we'll simply click on save and send test request button. And you can see here we have received the response. So as we have received the response, I'm going to take you towards my Google Sheets. And you can see over here, the details are automatically recorded. So here we have the name the email address, phone number, and the inquiry. So systematically, one by one, the details are recorded in the specified columns. So this means that our connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. So now whenever a new lead will be generated from India Mart, the response of that lead will be automatically captured inside Pabli Connect. And in order to test our connection, which we have built, I'm going to create a new lead with another details in India Mart. And as soon as we will do that, the details will be automatically recorded inside our Google Sheets. So I'm again going to open incognito mode and I will open India Mart account over there. And once again, I'm going to submit the response. Let's say this time I'm going to enter. Can you please tell me about lifetime deal of Pabli Connect? I will click on submit. 
and here the response is received okay so now as we have received the response let's go and check whether automatically the record is created of this lead in google sheets or no and yes you can see that automatically the response is received this time the inquiry is changed can you please tell me about ltd of fabric connect but the details are same because we have submitted the response from the same number okay but in a similar manner once we have set up the connection successfully when we are going to receive new leads the details of those new leads will be recorded inside fabric connect every time okay so i hope this connection is easy and clear to you now let's quickly summarize what we have done we have simply set up the connection between india mart and google sheets in such a way that now whenever a new lead will be generated through india mart then automatically the details of that lead will be added in google sheets i hope this video is helpful for you and it is clear to you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations